Hello, I'm Associate Professor Sue Williamson. I'd like to tell you about a recent article I wrote with Ms. Alicia Pierce, which is now available in the Journal of Industrial Relations. In our article, we argue that working from home is no longer an individual flexibility and should be regulated as a collective condition of employment. Current regulation is outdated. Human resource policies, the Fair Work Act and industrial awards all have some limitations when it comes to regulating working from home. What then might future regulation look like? International examples are instructive. In the US, the Telework Enhancement Act requires that public servants work from home to the maximum extent possible, which was very useful during COVID lockdowns. This is a collective approach covering a whole sector. European countries have been reviewing and amending their working from home regulation. In Italy, public sector organisations are required to consult with unions and develop a plan for teleworking. In Luxembourg, regular teleworking may require agreement through collective bargaining. In Germany, legislation has been proposed to create a right to telework for all employees. These countries show how working from home could be regulated as a collective entitlement. It's time for Australian policymakers, human resource practitioners and unions to craft regulation which is fit for purpose as employees work hybridly. I hope you find our article interesting and enjoyable. Thank you.